And part of the problem for me, at least when I'm watching this Carolina team, I'm like trying to watch their, their body language. And I, I don't really see a, a leader out there. I don't see somebody rallying them together. It just looks like five guys that are going out there as individuals and just hoping for the best, hoping for a team win, which is a weird thing to say with how much experience this team has and where they kind of came from last year. When you're watching this Carolina team, who do you kind of see as as their leader? And from your experiences, what does and what should leadership kind of look like? I mean, leadership looks totally different and totally, you know, each 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 player might have a totally different way to lead. Um, but I think first and foremost, when it comes to who the leaders are, it, everybody on that starting five are basically upperclassmen. So to me, it doesn't really matter who takes kind of that leadership role, but there's got to be somebody that's mature enough to, you don't have to be, um, you know, the guy that's saying things all the time or, you know, yelling at your teammates or whatever, but there has to be somebody that, is able to pull them together when things kind of start going awry and get everybody back on track. And I think that's one thing when I watch the game, there's never really huddles between the players, you know, like we used to at least kind of huddle before a free throw or, you know, we would huddle at some point, like when things, let's just say a team goes on a run, like we might huddle up real quick and just, it might be something as simple as, all right, guys, let's get back. Like, let's get back in transition or let's get a good shot or whatever. Like, so we were always connected in that way, um, whether it was going good or bad. And I never really see that with this team. Um, and like I said, it's all upperclassmen. So it's not like they're young. They're trying to figure their way out. They've been through this already. So to me, it doesn't really matter who it is. It could be, it could be somebody on the bench. It could be Tyler Nichols for all I care. Like it, it doesn't really matter to me um, who the leader might be. And I think the leadership, and for one, the best leaders that I've always seen, for instance, Marcus, the best leader that I've always seen is somebody that leads by example, right? So Marcus wasn't necessarily a guy who was, you know, would get in your face or he wasn't always saying something, but like you knew, what he was going to bring every single game. You knew he was getting his extra work before and after practice. You knew that he had paid attention to the scout that, you know, we had for the game coming up. So he knew the tendencies of certain players. Um, so that just makes you follow in line. And I think there has to be somebody on the team that does that and carries everybody with them. And then hopefully everybody can just kind of become a, you know, more of a team when it comes to that. So like I said, it doesn't matter to me who the leader is, but, hopefully somebody kind of steps up and, you know, really wants to right this ship and get it back on track.